Welcome to your video on solving systems of equations by graphing. We're going to start by giving you some steps for solving by graphing. This will go back to our linear equations unit where we were graphing lines, so a lot of this should seem like a review. Step one is to solve for y, and the reason we do this is we want to get y equals mx plus b form, the slope-intercept form. Step two is to plot the y-intercept. Remember that that is just going to be the coordinate 0, b, and that b number is going to come right from the equation. Step three is starting from the y-intercept, so make sure you're starting at that point that you just plotted, you're going to count the slope. And that, remember, is just the rise over the run. And that number as well is going to come right from your equation. Now just a quick refresher on slope. If it's a positive slope, you're going to go up and to the right. If it's a negative slope, you're going to go down and to the right. So just make sure you're getting that negative in the correct direction. And then after you've plotted both of your lines, sorry about that, your solution is going to be where those two lines cross. And remember that a solution has to look like an ordered pair. It has to be an x and a y coordinate. So basically, you're going to do steps 1, 2, and 3 twice because you have two lines. And then once you get those two lines on the graph, you'll look for the solution where those two lines cross. So let's do an example together so that you know what we're talking about here. Our first example is set up very nicely because the first step in solve by graphing is already done for us. We have y by itself in both of the equations. What I'd suggest doing is in that top equation, I'd put the invisible 1 in there in front of the x so that you remember that our slope is there. And we're just going to start by identifying the slope and the y-intercept for each of the lines. So for our first line, our slope is 1. And for some, you might want to write that as 1 over 1, just so that you can see the rise and the run, whichever is better for you. And then our y-intercept is negative 1, so we're going to write that as an ordered pair, 0, negative 1. And we'll go ahead and graph this line right away. So we'll start at 0, negative 1. And then our slope is just 1 over 1, so you'll have to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. You'll have to forgive us if you recall graphing lines on the smart board can be somewhat challenging. Um, but a good technique is actually to graph as many points as you can. Um, and even when you're working on graph paper, the more points you have, the better you'll get your ruler or your straight edge lined up. And it's all about accuracy for these systems because we're looking for a very specific point where these two lines cross. And so you can see here as um, Mr. V is doing, we're actually kind of graphing points all the way through the graph. That is not a bad idea. I know it'll take you a little bit longer, but it will really improve your accuracy. So now we're going to attempt to connect those. And again, remember the smart board is somewhat challenging to work with. Um, but this will be our line, and yours should definitely look better than that. You want to make sure that you are using a straight edge. Okay, so our first line is done. Our second line, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to identify the slope and the y-intercept. Our slope is 3, which you can write as 3 over 1, and our y-intercept is 0, 1. So now we're going to put this on. We're going to start at 0, 1. And then from that point, we're going to go up 3 and write 1. Up 3 and write 1. And again, you can do this as many times as you want. Um, but now, you can kind of see that we haven't exactly crossed our red line, and we've been going up and to the right. So we're just going to reverse that, and we're going to go back to our y-intercept, and we're going to go down and to the left. And you'll actually notice that that point that we just graphed is the point that crossed the red line. So you can go ahead and graph the blue line. And again, use a straight edge. You can see why this would be really important. And then the solution, remember, is where the two lines cross. So we're going to box that right there. And then you want to look for that ordered pair. And it looks like the ordered pair is negative 1, negative 2. And so that would be your answer. Your answer to these questions, even though our work is all about graphing the lines, your answer or your solution will always be an order pair. And you could check that, remember, by plugging both the x and the y coordinate into both equations. Okay, example number two. We have two equations here that we are going to have to do a little bit of work on before we can graph them. So in the first one, we are going to rewrite the equation, and we're going to put our 1s in here, like 1x and 1y, and then we're going to start getting y by itself. 
So our first step is sub to subtract 1x from both sides. And remember that the 3 and the 1x do not combine. Those should be two separate things. And then the 1y, I mean, this is a 1, so we could divide everything through by 1, but obviously because it's a 1, it's not going to change anything. Um, so we end up with negative 1x plus 3. Now this is in the correct form, so we're going to identify the slope, which is negative 1. And again, you could write that as negative 1 over 1 if you'd like. And then our y-intercept is 0, 3. So as we plot this line, we will go to 0, 3. That will be our starting point. And then with the negative, we're going to go down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. It should be a downhill line as you read the graph from left to right. So get a bunch of points in there, and you can graph your line. We're just going to leave it like this for now. All right, our second equation is 2x minus y equals negative 6. So again, I'm going to have you write that out and put in the minus 1. And we're going to, again, isolate y. So we start by subtracting 2x. We're given negative 1y equals negative 2x minus 6. And then this one does matter for the division because dividing by a negative 1 is going to change all of our signs. So our line ends up being y equals 2x plus 6. Our slope for this line is 2, or 2 over 1. And our y-intercept is 0, 6. So we go through the graphing process again, and we start at 0, 6. And then this is a positive slope, so you're going to go up to right 1. And if you run out of room, you just reverse that completely, and you'll go down to left one. And you don't have to do as many dots for this one, because right away we kind of found that intersection point. And again, make sure you're using that straight edge and putting your arrows on just like we normally do. And then look for your solution. That's the ordered pair where the um, two lines cross. And for this one, it looks like negative 1, 4. Okay. And again, that solution is always going to be an ordered pair. All right, our last example, if you remember your lines, should go very quickly. The top line just has an x in it. And if you recall, that is a vertical line. So we don't have to find the slope. We don't have to find the y-intercept. We don't have to um, solve. We just go ahead and graph it. So you're going to go to negative 7 on the x-axis, and you're just going to draw your vertical line in there. So that's our top line, x equals negative 7. Our bottom line is y equals 6, and that, if you remember, is going to be a horizontal line. So you're going to go to 6 on the y-axis, and then draw your horizontal line. When you look for your answer, you are doing the exact same thing that we did in the previous examples. You are simply looking at where the two lines cross. And it should not come as a surprise to you that the answer is negative 7, 6. In fact, the answer was kind of just given to us as the problem was stated. This concludes your video on graphing, and it is now time for you to get some practice done.